I visited Syria recently and I wasn't prepared for the destruction I would see. I walked this through the ancient city of Homs, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There was not a single building left intact. It looked like a bunch of skeletons and it was eerie walking through the streets. There were no people and it felt like birds weren't singing. You go to the outskirts of the towns and then you see where the, the people are settling. They're, they're going into classrooms and, and finding and putting mattresses on the floor. They're occupying abandoned buildings, uh, warehouses, just to find a place to sleep. These are people who do not want to come to your country. They are driven to come to your country and they need protection. They're fleeing a war. The world needs to address the root problems so that people are not so compelled to flee um, and take these dangerous, treacherous journeys. No refugee would risk their lives trying to reach Europe if they could thrive where they are. The same with economic migrants. If their plates were full, uh, if they had a job to go to, they would not pay their life savings to a smuggler and try to risk their life to reach Europe. It's not a pretty picture. So we're approaching 60 million people who are forcibly displaced in this world today. It would be in the strategic self-interests of countries to educate the children coming from war zones, the children who, if educated, uh, could become the forces of reconstruction, of reconciliation. I really strongly believe for that reason alone, uh, it should be compelling enough uh, to educate the kids. These are the kids and the people and the future of the region who can stop the cycle of violence. These could be the future of peace.